Welcome to MyPatchLink.com's video series on allergic contact dermatitis. In the short video you are about to watch, you will learn about your allergy and where to go for additional information. Hi, my name is Dr. Sven John, and I'm going to talk with you about your patch test results. Your results indicate that you have a contact allergy to cobalt chloride, otherwise known as cobalt. If you haven't already, I suggest watching the video titled Allergic Contact Dermatitis. Simply put though, having allergic contact dermatitis means that your immune system has started to react to a particular substance and this may cause your skin to break out when it comes into contact with objects that release cobalt. Typical symptoms of the reaction may include severe itching, redness, swelling, flaking, and peeling. Some patients may experience fluid-filled blisters. What is this substance? Cobalt is a silvery metal with many properties similar to those of iron and nickel. Cobalt is used with other metals to make metal alloys. It can be found in some spray paints, and enamels, wood stains, and paints. It is also found in bricks and cement and within metal tools and objects such as keys, jewelry, and orthopedic or dental implants. Additionally, cobalt is used as pigments in light brown hair dyes. Makeup is sometimes used in blue tattoos and may be found in solid soaps. How do you avoid it? To avoid cobalt, use products that do not list cobalt or its related chemicals on the label or material safety data sheet. Because cobalt and nickel can be found in many of the same metal products, allergies to both metals can develop. To prevent this, consider wearing jewelry made of sterling silver or other precious metals rather than costume jewelry. Coat or cover the handles of frequently handled metal objects likely to contain cobalt. Metallic items that are difficult to avoid, such as keys, may be coated with several layers of clear nail polish or polyurethane lacquer. Larger objects can be covered with plastic which is helpful for hairdressers and textile workers who use metal tools throughout the day. If possible, select scissors and tools with handles of plastic, wood or high quality stainless steel. Reactions to metal instruments used by dentists and physicians are unlikely because skin contact is too brief. Reactions to metal dental appliances and orthopedic implants are rare. Avoid work exposure from metallic dusts and cobalt etching, metal salts of electroplating, wet cement and wet alkaline clay containing cobalt. Paints, lacquers and varnishes as well as animal feed enriched with cobalt salt should be avoided. If possible, avoid wet work since moisture increases the penetration of cobalt into the skin. Be sure to tell your healthcare provider, dentist, veterinarian and hairdresser that you are allergic to cobalt or one of its components. Ask for preparations that do not contain cobalt or related substances. If you must use products that contain cobalt on pets or children, wear protective gloves. Utility or disposable gloves made of natural or synthetic rubber or vinyl are good. Although you have been diagnosed with a contact allergy to cobalt, it is important to remember that it is manageable. Thank you and I wish you success in managing your allergy. As with all medical conditions, if you believe you are suffering from allergic contact dermatitis, please contact your health care provider. Additional resources and information are available to you at 
mypatchlink.com resources.